with the selection of the PASM Sport suspension, which will be available only on the Boxster S. Porsche claims the retuned PASM will offer a broader spread between sportiness and comfort, depending on the settings selected. Porsche's long-running Sport Chrono option adds an individual program on top of the now familiar Sport and Sport Plus settings. PDK cars equipped with Sport Chrono also get a Sport Response button to further maximize accelerative brio. Zoo Fenhausen's latest version of its touchscreen Porsche communication management infotainment system is standard, but those who'd like to add navigation and online services will pay extra. Nip slash tuck. Like the new 2017 911, the 718 is a comprehensive update, rather than an entirely new automobile. Beyond the numerals on the tail, one can tell a 718 Boxster from its predecessor by clocking the strip between the tail lights in the rear. The front end revision is subtler, with the biggest Q being the larger, horizontally straight lower air intakes. LED headlights with Porsche's now signature 4-point DRLs are now an option. Although the overall look is evolutionary, Porsche claims that every panel save for the hood and decklet has been changed. Naturally, we're looking forward to driving the new Boxster. The car has been a perennial 1-0 BEST Cars winner, and we'd go so far as to say it's one of the most enjoyable vehicles available at any price. Based on our experience with the new 911, the power delivery should be excellent. We just hope it doesn't sound like a 914 with a Subaru conversion. Turbo Furman, however, we'd be fine.